All right, today we're going to be focusing on doing some tin work. Uh, there are two different types of tins. Uh, there is the weighted tin. You can see up closer that there's a weight right on the end of this. Uh, and then this one is an unweighted tin. It just doesn't have the weight on the end. Um, there's really not much difference. They give a little bit of a spin difference. Uh, use whatever you're most comfortable with. Uh, I prefer the weighted tin, but like I said, use whatever's most comfortable for you. Uh, the three moves we're going to be learning today are this. The tin spin, uh, the tin roll down the arm, and then a thumb roll. Those are the three moves. For the first move, uh, the tin spin, like that, and again, learn to practice with both hands. Uh, the tin spin, what I'm doing is uh, putting it on my palm, kind of on the balls of my, uh, on my palm, uh, and pulling, kind of throwing it like a frisbee. Uh, it helps actually when you're learning to even make that motion, kind of that throwing motion, uh, like that, away from your body. Um, really what I'm doing is just pulling with these two fingers, pulling towards me, and then getting those other fingers out of the way to allow it to spin. Uh, it really rides too, right on the uh, on the balls of my, or on the knuckles there, right there. So um, practice that. It helps too if you're having a little uh, difficult. Just get used to doing a half one. That shouldn't be too tough. Get comfortable doing just that half spin, and then ultimately you should be able to spin it all the way around. Maybe, whoop, maybe even do a couple spins, um, like so. Uh, so practice that one, and again, don't forget to practice with your left hand. The other move we're going to be doing, you want to start with the bottom, uh, facing uh, kind of away from your body. Um, and what I'm going to be doing is tossing it just a little bit, getting a little bit of spin right there. Um, and as that spins, I slide my hand under it and let it roll right down my arm. Um, again, you can kind of just do just a little bit, let it roll just a little bit. You can practice letting it roll all the way down your chest. Most important to this move, though, is getting a, just a little bit of a spin and getting making sure that you have it, because if it's dead or if it's flat, if it's not rotating, it's not going to uh, come down your arm at all. So give it a good spin. Ultimately, what you want to be working for is to be able to go all the way around your body like that. Um, but just practice for now, getting it to come all the way down your arm. Just keep practicing that. All right, and then the third move is called a, a thumb roll. Um, this one is takes some time. It's kind of a tricky move to learn, uh, and I don't know that it has not have a, a lot of flourish to it. Um, but it's kind of a fun one, and it's an easy thing to do if you're, you know, you got an empty bar, you're bored, or you're just sitting on your couch to just kind of sit here and thumb roll. It's, a, it's an easy thing to practice, um, but difficult to finally get it. I think I worked on this for weeks before I finally got it. Uh, what I'm doing is starting with it like this, really just holding it in those two fingers, and I'm pushing, pushing down with my middle finger here, pushing into it, and then just letting it roll and catching it like that. So one more time, pushing, pushing with this finger down, pushing around, and actually as I'm pushing with this finger down, I'm also pushing kind of into it and up with, with, uh, with my thumb. Pushing it that way, opening my hand a little bit, and letting it uh, catch just like that. Just like that. Those are our three moves for teamwork. Practice and good luck.